Well, good morning, guys. Uh, this is another foggy start to the day, although I can't see any fog at all, but the fog horns are definitely sounding in the harbour, so hopefully it's not down this part of the uh, part of the harbour. But anyway, so today what I'm going to do, there's going to be a bit of a sou-easterly today, so I'm going to sneak in behind Waiheke and go right down, possibly down to Gannett Rock. I'm just going to work my way down the coast there, fishing the uh, shallows around the uh, reefs and some structure there so hopefully get on some decent uh, snapper today and um, so just getting it's about quarter to five now it's nine degrees uh, so that's not too bad you know when you get down to about five it gets a bit fresh but so I'm really excited because uh, last Tuesday was an amazing day the weather was beautiful and I really enjoyed my trip to Kauai it was just stunning to see Kauai. Kauai is a beautiful spot. Fishing was absolutely dreadful so I'm hoping I can make up for it today okay let's go and launch the ski well this is uh, Waiheke Island directly in front of me now and it's quite a big island and I'm gonna go on the other side of it to, um, to do the fishing there's some good shallow sort of water spots there uh, the wind is meant to be coming up to around 12 knots south easterly that's what my uh, forecast is saying but it's absolutely beautiful here at the moment. There's not a breath of wind. But that's Waiheke Island. So it's famous for vineyards, uh, quality restaurants, beautiful beaches, beautiful uh, accommodation. And I don't know what the permanent population, I think it's around 4,500 people live there. There's a ferry goes across, I think it's every 15 or 20 minutes from Auckland. So if you come to Auckland, make sure you check it out. It's a beautiful island and um, great for fishing. So that's looking back towards Motuhi Island there, this uh, another island in Auckland uh, and the city is right there in the distance, you probably can't see it, there's a few glimmering lights, the sun's up now, well, sort of, it's just starting to come up and she's a pretty, pretty special day out here, but if you do come to Auckland, make sure you come and see these places, it's, it's very beautiful. I've got a, uh, a Gulp 5 inch crazy leg on with a uh, half ounce and there's quite a bit of wash around here. I want to get a little bit closer in but I'm just going to start in about here. It's about 13 metres here and it goes, goes down to about 5 but give it a go. First cast of the day. It's looking back towards Auckland there you can See, we're just on the uh, first point around Waiheke, so on the northern side. Just as you come around the point, there's a little bay here, very beautiful. There's a house just behind those rocks. Yep. This feels like a, uh, a keeper. This is a great little reel. This is a very uh, a budget reel, I would call it, but it's. It's got a great drag on it. Uh, it comes with a 10-year warranty. If you want to check out the gear I'm using, just uh, go in the description below. It's all detailed there. But, uh, oh yes, there's a nice, good eating size snapper. Now. I was just working my way down the bays here, so that's where I was to start with. And the next bit of footage is just from uh, Ho Hokai Mango Point, which is just here. It's 
Just trying a new spot now. There's a lovely uh, bit of wash over there. And uh, we're just sort of quarter of the way down the island now. And this is a 100 gram abyss lure. It's got that uh, stripe on the back which looks like a wounded fish. This is my little Japanese setup. So I just went over a huge school of bait fish and there was a couple of big arches there. So <laughs> let's see what they were. Unfortunately, the sign is gone now. I might, oh, there's a bit more there. I may need to run back and see if I can find that big school because it was. Oh, here we go. There's a bit more sign there now. There's a lot of smaller fish. It's actually not too bad out here, it's about 9 degrees, but uh, oh, it was a, a little touch. Yep. Be a car boy. Or, or it may be, oh no, it might be a good snapper. May well be a good snapper. Paul, Chen, if you're watching. Now, this is the new Shimano Nasky. No, it's not. It's the uh, Tranks. Sorry, the other one's a Nasky. This is the Tranks. Drags a bit, it's not, it drags a bit sticky actually. So, what do we got here? Oh, that's a snapper. Yeah, it's not a bad snapper either. It's about the same size as the other one. Oh, there you go, you can see him there. Lovely, beautiful snapper. Good snapper. Or oh, it might be a car white. I think it's a car white. Mm, hard to say. It's acting like a snapper, then it turns into a car white. No, it's definitely a snapper. It's a good snapper too. Shit. That hook just slipped. The hook just slipped in his mouth. Yeah, it's a snapper, and it's not. A, it's not even very big. <laughs> oh, it's a feisty bugger. He's a good eater though. I'm gonna. He'll be definitely uh, lovely. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. 
export quality lovely snapper Well guys, I've got four good fish in the bin, so I'm happy with that, that's plenty for us, it'll keep us going for a while, and uh, I've got some work to do, so I, as much as I hate to leave this beautiful, gorgeous, stunning island called Waiheke, so if you come to New Zealand, you've got to come and check Waiheke out, it's beautiful, have lunch over here, there's gorgeous wines made on here, beautiful food, fresh seafood, whatever, it's good. So, I've got work to do as I said, so I'm going to head home now. And it's about nine o'clock. Yeah, nine o'clock uh, in the morning. So that'll be time to get home, get the ski washed down, and I'll be able to get you know some work done, which is really good. So thanks for watching. I really do appreciate you watching. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe now, and you click the little bell and get notified every week when I put a new video out. So if you want to check out the gear I'm using, there's links in the description below. Guys, thanks for watching. It really means a lot to me. Catch you next week.